Hey folks, this is Tony Rasmussen, and I am giving a TVC Studios update. And I know it's been a while. The last time I did one was the 14th. So, yeah, basically, um, you're probably asking yourself, well, how was your holiday? Uh, what do we got coming up for 2016? Since I'm doing this on the morning of New Year's Eve. And, uh... Yeah, will there be uh, anything new? So, uh, right off the bat, uh, the holidays were pretty good, uh, for the most part. So, uh, I had no troubles, nothing at all. Uh, we'll, I'll be uh, working on a video uh, for, it'll have to be January, uh, called Holiday Hall. And I'll be talking about what I had gotten that year. So, look forward to that. Um... Uh, what we got coming up, well, more mini-reviews, of course. Uh, we're going to be starting a new run, hopefully, on the 4th. We're going to be covering uh, something that I would cover in one episode, but I'm going to stretch to two weeks. So you're going to get a new video every day of the week. Well, weekdays. You, you get my point. Uh... Romanumness has sadly been postponed, I'll put it at, or on hiatus. And it's mainly been because everyone who I want to kind of work with on these videos are really not available for the time being. Uh, I got, you know, some people that are heading back to college like myself. Uh, I got others who are working on their own shows like... Uh, Nathan Wisniewski working on Failure of Friends, which, by the way, folks, uh, hopefully you have caught the new Failure of Friends Mario Maker episode, uh, featuring a level by yours truly. <laughs> Man, I can't plug that enough. So, it is a really fun episode. Uh, I really hope you check it out. Links will be in the description below. Other than that... <laughs> Yeah, everyone's just really busy, uh, we found out. So, even like Nathan has been really busy for commentaries. So, the video you're going to see tomorrow uh, will be a commentary for a Season 2 episode. I will work on more commentaries throughout the month, but that's probably going to be the only one with Nathan in it. Uh, I want him to come into a few of them, but it's not going to happen. So... But, yeah, so there will be no Romulus, so there will probably be, like, a replacement show. I'm not sure what it's going to be yet. I hope it's something that's not really mini-reviews. Because if it is, well, then <sighs> i got to work on a hell of a lot more. Uh, so it will probably be something. I'm really not sure what it's going to be. Uh, I want to talk about the three-month uh, logo video drought, because... From what I've discovered over the last couple weeks, it seems like not many people can handle it. And I'm really fucking surprised that no one can handle this. Now, let me clarify this. I have been working on logo videos. I was just not planning to release them until March 2016. So I have been working on a few new ones. And I actually just put some up for schedule for March 2016. But with the way people have been reacting, uh, which I'll dive a little more into in a few minutes, I'm really not sure if I want to actually continue with this three month uh, logo video like hiatus. <sighs> Seeing people react, it's just batshit crazy. I never thought I'd see people react so negatively to this idea. Ever. Let me get across what the whole point of this three month drought was supposed to be. The whole point of it was, was A. To show more off the original material. Stuff like skits, stuff like uh, ransom reviews, stuff like, you know, commentaries, mini reviews, randomness, which would have happened. All that stuff. And this month I did TVC Studios Rewind, 
which was basically our month-long uh, run of old classic stuff we'd done years back, which I don't think anyone has seen in three years. So that was stuff that was three years old. But it just really deludes me just how people were so negative to those videos. And that negative isn't, oh, I've seen thumbs down and, you know, shit like that. I got negative comments from some people over those videos. I had someone, I'm not going to name names, but he wrote a comment in one of the videos saying, I've seen some of the original productions, those videos suck. To which I replied, and I'm not a harsh person, but I said, those videos were made way back in 2012. You know, some of that stuff changes. Everyone changes. You know, that was me when I was, you know, 15, 16 years old. You know, times change eventually as you get older. And, you know, I, I'm i thinking no one kind of caught on to that. These were the older, older videos. But I ended up, like, Ransom Review Season 1, yeah, there's a lot of audio issues. But that was, I'm thinking, because of the conversion we had when we were putting it to full video uh, from FLV. We never figured out what happened with it. So the audio is like that, and I do apologize. I will do something to make it up. I don't know what it's going to be yet. So, but those aren't the only videos that got negative comments, surprisingly. Even the older logo videos have gotten negative comments. I had gotten into, I'm not saying like a real argument, but like kind of just having to defend myself with this one guy who was talking about um, uh, the NBC 76 logo remake. Now, folks, let me give you a perfect idea of how I work. I work on about four to five videos a day. So sometimes a mistake will slip through that I won't notice until the last minute. And will I fix it? Sometimes yes. Other times if it's just something small, like I got some little aspect wrong, I'll leave it. But I will point it out. Well, this guy pointed out that I had gotten the font wrong. And I was like, yeah, that's understandable. We work so hard on these. You know, sometimes we either work so hard or we work so fast that we don't notice something like that. And to be honest, that was kind of intentional, and I never really meant for anyone to kind of pick on that. Because we actually just reused something uh, we did for an older video, but we kind of fixed it up a little bit. So, but he picked up on it, and, you know, he pointed that out, and then he, and then he thought the audio from that video was my voice. Now, you've been, for the people who have been watching these updates, this is my voice. This is actually kind of my voice a little scratched up. I'm still kind of sick. But you know what I sound like, for the most part. So, it's just, that audio clip I found, and I have it on file. It said, NBC, 1976-77. to 77. And I explained that to him. I said it was an old audio clip from one of the NBC bumpers back in the 70s. He's like, well, I worked at NBC for 10 years, and let me tell you, that shit wouldn't fly with us. I was about to say, dude, it was the 70s. By that point, no one gave a shit. They were still trying to figure out how to get this shit perfected. No one really cared. But I didn't really say that. I just said, listen, man, you have your own opinions. That's great. Just please don't ruin this for everyone else, because everyone else is trying to enjoy these videos. And every time, like, I would point something out and, you know, prove a point, he would just go, excuses, excuses, excuses. You suck, excuses, excuses, excuses. And I'm not someone who would really get into a flame war and get pissed, because I've learned over the years not to really get that pissed over people. So I just, I decided I'd take the logical route and just block him, and the reason I did that was because I wasn't going to take that shit anymore. And I know you can say, well, that was kind of the coward's way out. Well, when you deal with dickheads like that, who don't really want to listen, and just decide, well, fuck you, I'm just going to say whatever I want. 
you have to take proactive measures. I actually reported that comment as harassment because I couldn't deal with it anymore. I couldn't deal with the fact that, well, I was trying to just be calm and just prove what I was saying when you got, you know, him just keep telling me that's an excuse. I'm like, dude, that's everything I told you. That's how I produce stuff. That's how things get made. That's how things end up happening. It just happened like that. I don't get what his dilemma was. Then I had people who claimed that some videos were fake and other videos were just not great. Well, for the people who do say, oh, that's not great, well, well, what do you expect? I mean, like I said, I work on four to five videos a day. You know, sometimes, again, a mistake will slip through that I won't notice. And I've had my fair share of mistakes. I could probably make at least a top five video out of my mistakes. And for, you know, the people who do say, like, oh, it's fake. No shit, Sherlock. If it says Dream Logo, then it's obviously fucking fake. I make those logos because maybe that's something I would want to see, or maybe that's something that other people would be interested in wanting to see. Everyone does it. So, no shit, it's fake. <sighs> Just those negative comments are really starting to get to my fucking nerves. And I'm starting to question whether or not I should just bring back logo videos. But at the same time, I'm questioning whether or not this drought will actually continue on or this hiatus. So, if... write in the comments on what you think about this, folks. Because I'm really not sure. If I do go with what I was thinking about, which is really just ending the hiatus, the new logo videos will come uh, in the end of January. And yeah, I said the end of January because two reasons. One, like I said, college, I'm trying to get stuff fixed so I can get back in. And two, we've got a lot of work to do with mini reviews. And we've got a lot of work to do with skits and stuff like that. So, uh, personal message donations, folks. If you got a personal message, send it. If you want to donate something, let me know. Uh... Fan funding, folks, don't forget to fund. Uh, if you enjoy some of the content, uh, it would actually be really nice to fan fund around this time because it might come in handy for some new stuff we're going to work on next year. And, yeah, folks, just be patient. And above all else, just don't be a dick about everything because you got to realize that I spend my time, my free time, making this stuff for you and I could be doing so many other things with my free time other than making stuff for you <sighs> so please don't be a dick about everything if you know it's a mistake hey it's a mistake we all make mistakes if you say something's fake well no shit Sherlock it wasn't the real fucking thing I want to give a shout out <sighs> before I end off my Update to Ethan, Justin, and Aaron, and Jack, and Daniel. All you guys really did a great job this year. Uh, I am very grateful. <laughs> because if it wasn't for you guys, I would have probably ended it uh, in August doing all the logo videos and stuff. But you guys kind of came through and kind of gave me my mojo back for making these things because I was starting to really lose it. So... Yeah, thank you guys, and uh, I hope you guys had a happy holidays, and uh, I hope we have a great 2016. Tony is signing out. Happy New Year.